that enjoy my life, the most powerful angels. Your wishes are a command. The heavenly hierarchy has nine orders of angels, and these are grouped into three strata. It is customary for the higher angels to show their knowledge to those below. And those at a lower level are those who have more contact with men and women. Let's start from top to bottom. In the supreme hierarchy, you have the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones. Let's start with the seraphim. They are beings with six wings full of eyes. The wings cover their feet, the others their face, and with the other two, they fly. They are in charge of materializing the power of God as love. The truth is that their name means burning love. Cherubs are the guardians of the Ark of the Covenant and the Tree of Life. They are beings of light with four wings that seem to be united. They have unmatched greed. One of the most famous cherubs was Lucifer, until he rebelled against God. The thrones are the ones that hold the throne of God. Their appearance is of giant beings, with circular wings illuminated with the colors of the rainbow. They carry the gift of perseverance. Therefore, one of their jobs is to record the actions of humans. The most powerful of them is Kariel, who represents truth and justice. Now let's do the middle hierarchy, in which we have dominions or chosen powers. First in dominions. With their appearance of human beings and powerful green, they are in charge of maintaining the laws of the universe. They also organize and regulate the tasks of the lower angels. The most powerful is the angel rapple, who heals the spiritual wounds of women and men. The virtues are like a ray of light that supervise humanity. They watch us continuously, and when the time comes, they stop or accelerate the evolutionary processes, following God's designs. They can also inspire the human being. Bows are held between the spiritual and physical world. Their appearance is that of a soldier with flaming shields and swords. Their mission is to save the history of heaven and earth. By extension, they are the ones who maintain a conscience, to try not to make the same mistakes of the past. It is evident that they do not always succeed. Finally, in the lower hierarchy, we have the principalities of angels and angels. The principalities, with their immense size, are in charge of the distribution of spiritual goods to each person. They decide if you are going to be a generous, nice, or intelligent person. What can we do? Although they also work in the creation of nature, according to the will of God, the Archangels, contrary to what people think, are not the most powerful. Of all of them, Archangel Michael is the only warrior, since he is in charge of defeating evil. Therefore, his appearance is that of an angel with two wings and an armor that glows in the sunlight. He is also dedicated to training the army of powers. The rest manage heaven. They are like God's assistants and reward human activities. To finish, we have the angels, who help men and women in their daily lives to reach eternal salvation. Known as humans, their tasks are endless. No need to tell you about their appearance, because you know them so well. These angels have no leader because they all fulfill the same function. Did you know that there were so many types of angels? Leave us in the comments what other draw my life would you like us to do. Then subscribe if you don't want an angel to chase you. Until the next video.